What's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and if you remember a while back in one of the videos I did out in Virginia, I brought home the 60 gigahertz gigabeams from Ubiquiti. Now I said I wanted to mess around with them and see what they could really do, and while I had them here at the house, or apartment, I thought of an idea. Now you see, I have the gym for my apartment complex right outside that window. But there's no internet over there. So I thought, what if I could gigabeam the internet from my apartment to the gym? Well, let's get into it. Okay, so I think I have a good solution set up for receiving the signal from my apartment. Now, transmitting the signal is pretty easy. I basically just VHB taped the gigabeam to the inside of my window in my bedroom. Now, receiving it, Here's what I've devised. Now, if you've been around the channel for a long enough time, you'll recognize this is my network in a box. Portable network in a box, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. We have power, we have network jacks, except I built a new network in a box a little while back. Um, it's kind of better in every single way, so I just had this shell left. So so what I did is I mounted Okay, um, this is supposed to... Okay, so what I've devised is essentially the gigabeam, an access point, and a switch, all in the old shell of Network in a Box. So the idea being that I could VHB tape the gigabeam up here for receiving. This would be closed up and just kind of aimed out the window with this kind of facing my apartment. And then we would have an access point, we have a Nano HD in the box here, a USW Flex, and I have two PoE injectors. One of them is 802.3AF, and that is powering up the uh, switch and the access point and these two ports. The other one being 24 volt passive, which is powering up the Gigabeam. For just being made out of scraps I had laying around, I think this is pretty good. But that's the idea. Now let's see how well it actually will work. Okay, so I'm in the gym. Uh, it's nighttime. I came out here during the day, but a bunch of people wanted to use the gym. So I'm like, hey, I'll get out of here and stop doing networking. Um, no, so I have power. And in this windowsill, this is aimed pretty much directly at my apartment, especially my window, aside from elevation, or in terms of angle. Uh, so let's get this fired up. I ran a speed test to one of my servers from my laptop directly wired in at home and I was able to get, well, full gigabit. So about 107 megabytes per second. So if I fire the box up and wire my laptop in, let's see if we can get that. All right, so I'm gonna open up my network settings and I have an IP address. Okay, so the Gigabeam has established a connection to my apartment. Now let's just see if this whole thing works. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna just try and do a file copy test and see if I notice a slowdown. I'm gonna paste a video onto the server. Oh. Uh oh. It's... It's having, it's not having a fun time. Oh wait. Okay, so we're not getting a hundred megabytes a second. Let's see how fast. Let's see how fast we're actually getting. Okay, these numbers are not looking so hot. Now, I believe what we're seeing here is this thing dropping down to five gigahertz because this uses five gigahertz backup radios in case 60 gigahertz fails. Like there's a really heavy storm or something at a long distance. You're putting a lot of water mass, which water is a big absorber of wireless signals. So when it rains and you have a great distance, you're having a lot of water mass in between. So it needs something that can penetrate through that water much better than 60 gigahertz can. So I believe what we're seeing here is it dropping down to its five gigahertz backup radios and those five gigahertz backup radios just not being able to carry the same amount of speed. So I'm pretty sure the tree right outside my window 
along with the distance and the angles not being right, that's what's causing us to have these issues. I'm gonna try something more direct and see if I can get these speeds boosted. I'm gonna try and take the Giga Beam and put it outside on my balcony, mounted with a hose clamp aimed directly down at this window. Okay, so I just ended up doubling my speeds. Now what I did was I had an extension cord with me, so I plugged in the extension cord, moved this down two windowsills. I was down there before, now I'm right here. And now this is basically lined up with my apartment. Now my apartment isn't angled down, it's shooting straight out. So I'm hoping that with a little bit of tweaking to that angle, this could work, because I'm at 10 and a half megabits right now. Now with speeds like this, it's not looking good for me. So I think the Giga Beams and an access point in a box back there was probably not the best idea. But I think this goes to show that my proof of concept is all right, but my execution was flawed. One, the Giga Beams aren't aimed properly. And two, the idea of beaming a signal works fine but beaming and retransmitting, maybe not. I think I would be better off with some sort of direct to device sector antenna in terms of a sector antenna acting as an access point rather than as a point to point link. So yeah, maybe a V2, but hey, all the cables fit in the case. Editing Jack here, and I made a bit of a mistake earlier. I don't just have the Giga Beam mounted in my window. I also have a Mesh Pro access point. Now I use that Mesh Pro access point to tell when people come home because they connect to the Wi-Fi a little bit sooner than when they get up to the apartment. So that way automation rules and Home Assistant have time to take place. I didn't have the access point in the case connected to my Unify controller. My phone at the gym was using the access point that's mounted in my window. So those were speeds as if I was using a sector-ish antenna. I redid the numbers with the access point actually configured and that's a heck of a lot better and basically changes the outcome of this video. This project was a massive success because I have no Wi-Fi at the gym and now I have pretty banging Wi-Fi at the gym. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you really liked it, want to see more of me in your subscription feed, then you can go ahead and get subscribed. I'll have links to the nano beams down in the description below, as well as a couple of the other access points. And I'm hoping to do a full video about network in a box. But while you're down there, go ahead and let me know what you think about this project. And let me know what you've used the Giga Beams for in the past, or the nano beams for that matter as well. Because it's a similar concept. The Giga Beams are just running at 60 gigahertz. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.